Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see, we are in a little bit of a different setting today. We are downstairs in my living room and I am currently standing in front of my entire movie collection. So that can only mean one thing. In today's video, we are going to be doing my full in-depth movie collection. Now, my movie collection is not anything that's like, gonna be worth millions of views. It's not huge. It doesn't take up a whole room. It doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling with like hundreds and thousands of different movies. This is my own personal movie collection that I have been building since I moved out of my parents' house when I was like 17. All of these movies are all mine. They all have very different meanings to me. A great majority of them are horror movies, but I also have movies in here that you know, are all sorts of different genres. We have drama, comedy, um, autobiographies, real life stories, Disney movies, Pixar movies, time classics, just different kind of movies like that. But all of my movies mean a great deal to me and I love every single one of them. And you guys have been asking for a full movie collection for um, a little over a year now. And I can't even tell you how many times I've tried to film this video. The first couple times I filmed it, all of the data ended up corrupted. So I had to take a break from doing this. So we are trying again today. Fingers crossed that nothing goes wrong here. But I'm basically just gonna take you through row by row. We're gonna go over the movies that I have. I'm not gonna discuss every single one of them in depth, just because that would end up being like a 48 hour video and I'm not about that life. I'm sure you guys aren't about that life either. So we're just gonna go through row by row. I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite ones, uh, ones that I've had for years. Some of these movies I have not seen in probably close to five to 10 years, but I still have them. I still own them. I still love them. And um, yeah, we're just, we're going to go through them. We have a lot of different kinds of movies in here. Uh, some of these movies were also from my dad's collection when he passed away. I inherited a lot of those that just remind me of him. Will I ever be able to actually sit down and watch those movies again? Probably not, but I have them for that sentimental value. And some of these movies I saw on TV, loved it on TV and went and bought it and never watched it again. But still, it has that sentimental value there. I'm a very sentimental person when it comes to pretty much everything, whether that be, you know, a pillow, a movie, a picture frame, whatever. I am a very sentimental person. Once once I have some sort of good memory or good feeling from something, I want to physically have it so I always remember that memory and that sentimental feeling, if that makes sense. Uh, that is my movies to me. And also there are a few movies in here that I don't even know why I own them because they're just awful. So uh, we're just gonna go through, like I said, row by row and talk about them. All of my movies are in alphabetical order. We have most of my DVDs here. And then once we get lower, we have my Blu-rays, which are also in alphabetical order. Now, most of my Blu-rays are horror pack movies that I have unboxed in the past. I don't have every single horror pack movie that I have ever gotten. A lot of them I have either donated, given to family and friends, and some of them are upstairs because I'm currently watching some of them. So I don't have all of my horror pack movies, but I have a great majority of them on the very bottom row, which we will get to. Without further ado, let's go ahead and go through my entire movie collection. I know this has been a very long time coming, so thank you for those of you who have been patient with me. I know this has taken me quite a long time to get to, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's break it down. Let's get to it. So first off, I just wanna talk about the storage in which I keep my movie. So I have two of these eight sectioned uh, pieces. I got these off of Amazon. Oh gosh, like forever ago. And this is literally where I keep all of my DVDs and my Blu-rays. 
And as you can see on the very bottom here, I still have a lot of room for movies. But until then, that's just where I keep my NECA figures and some books and things like that. And then the rest are all movies. So we are going to start at the very top corner over here. And we're going to go from left to right, left to right, left to right, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and get into it. Well, I'm sorry if the lighting isn't very good. Um, the only time that I have to film this, of course, it's on a day where it is storming outside. It is very cloudy. It is very dark. So I'm sorry if the lighting isn't the best and there's some glares, uh, but I'll try to show you everything the best that I can. So, so we're going to start in this first little section right here, and this is where I keep all of the A movies. But starting over here, the very first one that I have, this is of course one of my favorites. This is the Adams Family uh, two movie collection. I also have a like like I said I have a lot of different genres in here I really like dramas and things like that. So this one is actually a Hilary Duff movie This is according to Greta. This is kind of like a good movie for young adults and teenagers But I really enjoyed that one as well Really good movie and the grandma in this movie is actually the mom in from the exorcist Which is also kind of a cool fun little fact uh, I have a Disney movie right here. I have Aladdin. This movie right here, this is all over me. And this one I saw on TV, oh gosh, it was maybe like 13 years ago. I saw this movie on TV and I really liked it. Um, it's not, I mean, it is a feel good movie, but it's not like, you know, I don't, I don't really know how to describe it. It's a very old movie. Yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen this movie. I don't know. I really liked it when I saw it and I haven't seen this in quite a long time, but it's basically just like what it's like to be 15 and you're, you know, finding yourself with friends, your sexuality, uh, just trying to like come of age, basically. I don't know. I really, really enjoyed that movie. So after I saw it on TV, uh, I liked it and I bought it. Uh, next, we have an Alfred Hitchcock uh, box set. This was actually my dad's, and it basically just has a bunch of famous Alfred Hitchcock movies in it. Like, we have Rear Window, Vertigo, North by Northwest, Psycho, The Birds, uh, just all of, like, five, yeah, five classics from Alfred Hitchcock. We also have three different seasons of American Horror Story in here. I have all of my favorite seasons of American Horror Story are the ones that I bought. I haven't really liked American Horror Story over the years. It just hasn't really been my thing. But my favorite seasons are the first season, the fourth season, and the fifth season, which is Hotel, which is my all-time favorite season. But out of all of them, the first, fourth, and the fifth are my favorites. Moving on down, we have a war movie here. This is American Sniper with Bradley Cooper. Another really kind of fun fact about me is I absolutely love war movies. So I do have quite a few war movies in my collection. American Sniper is a great, really sad story. I watched this recently with my boyfriend and he really liked it. Uh, moving on, we have some a great deal of horror movies right here. I have the Amityville Horror movie and this is a three movie collection so we have the original one we have Amityville 2 the possession which is one of my favorites and then we have Amityville 3 which is the demon I can't remember if I've ever seen this one and if I have it was absolutely awful but I have that one in here and then this one is I believe the Ryan Reynolds yes this is the um, uh, Amityville horror with Ryan Reynolds uh, this one is also really good it's nice to see typically actors who do comedy it's really nice to see them do horror movies kind of like one hour photo with uh robin williams great movie i also own that one we'll get to it and then here i have the annabelle movies so i have the first one i have the creepiest one in my opinion which is annabelle creation and this one is annabelle comes home moving on we have a really old movie uh, this one was actually my dad's, and we used to watch this together all the time. This is The Apartment with Jack Lemmon. Really funny movie. Really, really good movie. I absolutely love Jack Lemmon, especially in Some Like It Hot with Marilyn Monroe. 
fantastic movie. Next, we have one of my mom's favorite movies that I also grew up watching. This is a Jack Nicholson film. I love Jack Nicholson, and this is As Good As It Gets. And again, another really good movie. I don't, oh my god, I like want to watch so many of these movies now. Again, we have another childhood favorite. This is, of course, the movie Babe. Oh my god, you guys. Like, can we just, if you've never seen Babe, what are you doing? Oh my god, such a good movie. And the very last one in this section are some Batman movies. So we have the Jack Nicholson Batman, and then we also have Batman Returns with Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman and Danny DeVito as Penguin. Creepy as hell. I He gives me nightmares as Penguin, but I have a double feature there. Two really good Batman movies. Moving on to the next section. First one right here is I have a Bee Gees One Night Only concert DVD. Uh, I used to listen to the Bee Gees with my dad all the time, so this is very nostalgic for me. Uh, we used to watch this all the time, listen to the Bee Gees all the time. Really great. I have to keep that. Next, we have another classic. We have, of course, Beetlejuice right here. Can't, can't not have Beetlejuice in my collection. The next three are the Beverly Hills Chihuahua movies. I... <laughs> I really like chihuahuas. I used to have a chihuahua and my sister got these for me for my birthday. I have the first Beverly Hills Chihuahua, the second one, and the third one. Really cute movies. Uh, next we have another horror movie. This is Black Christmas. This is the unrated one. This movie is okay. I remember really liking it um, at one point in time in my life. And it's cool because this says right here, Blockbuster exclusive, which I think is kind of fun because Blockbuster doesn't really exist anymore. Next, we have another feel-good movie. This is Sandra Bullock in The Blind Side. Love movies like this. Uh, I have a very old movie, but kind of a classic. This is The Blue Lagoon with Brooke Shields. A lot of controversy around this movie, a lot of unanswered questions about this movie, but me and my sister loved this movie growing up. Uh, next, we have kind of another uh, boomer movie. This is Book Club. Uh, it was kind of fun. I got it because I was going to give it to my mom, but I never got around to watching it with her, so it just kind of stayed in my collection. Uh, we have a really funny comedy. This is Bridesmaids. Love this movie. Freaking hysterical. We have an amazing movie with Christina Aguilera and Cher. We have Burlesque. Oh my god, I love this movie so much. Like... I just, I, I always want to become a burlesque dancer after I watch this. Anyone else or is that just me? We have one of my all-time favorite movies in my collection. This is The Butcher. I rented this for a movie night with a friend for a sleepover a really long time ago and I loved it and I actually bought it from the movie store. I went in there and I said, hey, I love this movie and I would like to buy it from you and they gave it to me. So um, I love The Butcher. Good movie. Next, we have another classic. This is, of course, Cabin Fever. Everyone knows Cabin Fever. I know there's like sequels and stuff like that. Honestly, really wasn't a big fan of them. I really only like the first one. Next, we have one of my dad's all-time favorite movies that I inherited, and that is, of course, Casablanca. Uh, my dad absolutely loved this movie, and I keep it for him. I couldn't part with it. I can't watch it because I have a really hard time watching it for obvious reasons, but I have that here. I have, of course, a Tom Hanks movie. This is Castaway with, you know, good old Wilson right here. Really good movie. I have the Carrie remake with uh, Chloe Grace Mortez. I think that's how you say her name. I loved this remake. This was a really, really good remake. I feel like they did it really well. I do have the original also, but I think that is in my Blu-ray section. Next, we have another kind of a good, this is actually a really good movie. This is with Angelina Jolie. This is The Changeling. Uh, basically, it takes place in like the 20s or 30s, and it talks about like the disappearance of her son, and it's a really good like murder mystery drama. I have another kind of kids movie right here. This is Casper Meets Wendy with really young Hilary Duff here. Uh, this is just kind of a fun movie. Again, very nostalgic for me because I used to watch this when I was younger. Also the one with, um, oh, what's her face? Christina Ritchie? I really like that one as well. I think that one's just called Casper. 
And then next to that one and the last one in this little section is my Chucky box set. And this one, oh my gosh, we have we have a lot of movies in here. I've showed this in videos before, but basically it's my whole entire Chucky movie collection. I have other Chucky movies that are down lower in my Blu-rays, but this one has Child's Play, Child's Play 2, 3, Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, and The Curse of Chucky. So I found this at a flea market for like five bucks. So I got all of these movies for like five dollars. Freaking amazing. All right, moving on to this next section. And then we have one more section and then we'll be on to the second row. And we have a total of four and a half rows to go through. So bear with me, guys. Uh, this first one is the Halle Berry Catwoman movie love love this movie so much i know a lot of people hate and drag on this movie but to be perfectly honest i love it i freaking love it she's sexy i want that costume this next one i don't know if a lot of people know about it but this is actually a johnny depp film and this is chocolate this was actually one of my moms that she gave to me and i love this movie for the main reason of it's johnny fucking depp hello hi how are ya hot ass. I don't know if a lot of people know about it. Uh, next I have Cinderella Man which is like a really good feel good wrestling movie. Love this movie so much with Renee Zellweger and what's his face? Russell Crowe. I have another Hilary Duff movie. I'm, I'm a Hilary Duff fan in case you can't tell but uh, this is a Cinderella story with Chad Michael Murray and Hilary Duff. This movie is really dumb and cheesy to me now as a grown adult but in my teenage years Bitch, you best believe I loved it. Next, we have a Universal Classic Monsters collection. This just has a lot of really old, timey, good movies. So we have Dracula, Frankenstein, Boris Karloff and the Mummy, The Invisible Man, Bride of Frankenstein, and The Wolfman. So just all of the classic monsters. I believe this one was also my dad's as well. This one, um, again, I have a really hard time watching just because of my dad. This was my dad's favorite alien movie, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I watched this movie with my dad for the first time. My dad loves this movie. I have not watched it since he has been gone. And the reason for that is every time after we would watch this movie, for like the next four days, my dad would whistle the song that's in here. I can't really remember. I can hear it in my head, but I can't really imitate it. But my dad would always whistle the song in this movie and it just makes me think of him. Next up, we have, of course, Clueless. Who doesn't like the movie Clueless? Like, come on, guys. Clueless is such a good movie, such a classic. God, I kind of want to watch that now. The next movie, this is kind of a fun fact movie. So one of my least favorite actors of all time is Tom Cruise. For whatever reason, I do not like Tom Cruise. Every time I see his face, I low-key want to punch him in the face. But the only movie I like with Tom Cruise is Cocktail. Now, that is the only Tom Cruise movie I will watch. It is the only one that I have in my collection. Next, the next three, I have all of the Conjuring movies. I have the first one, the second one, and the newest one. Uh, next, we have one of my favorite comedies. This is My Cousin Vinny. Holy shit, this movie is so damn funny. Love this movie. This is another one I really liked watching with my dad. Uh, we would both just crack up every single time. Next we have a oldie but a goodie, and this is the Britney Spears movie. This is Crossroads, of course. Oh my god, such a good movie. I'm sure many of my, you know, 90s babies who grew up when this movie came out, I'm sure you guys know this movie and love it just as much as I do. We have another Chucky movie. We have the unrated cult of Chucky movie. We have this one, Darkness Falls. I don't know where... I think I actually got this one. I, one of my friends was cleaning out her movie collection and I picked out a bunch of ones that looked interesting to me and I picked this one, but I don't know if I've ever seen this one. I don't know, I'll have to, I'll have to check that one out soon. Okay, this next one we have to talk about, okay? So this is the movie Dead Girl. Uh, this movie actually belonged to an ex-boyfriend of mine and for whatever reason, I have it still. This movie is disgusting. This movie is absolutely repulsive. Um, it's, it's gross. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it to you guys other than 
there's these teenagers who go into like this cave thing and they find this dead girl. She's dead. Uh, they start doing things with her. They start charging men to come and do things with her. And it's just, it's really gross. But at the end of the movie, she like comes back from the dead and it's kind of like creepy. So it's kind of like a disturbing, disgusting horror movie. I don't really like this movie. I think it's disturbing. I think it's fucked up. I think it's gross. Not a fan of it, but I mean, it's in my collection. For what reason? I don't know. Uh, I guess, you, like, if, if, if anyone were to come over to my house and they were to be like, what is the most fucked up movie in your collection? It would be this one, Dead Girl, right here. If you guys have ever seen this movie, if you know, you know. Next, we have a George A. Romero, Dead Time Stories. This is volume two. I think this is just a bunch of, like, short, uh, horror films. Interesting, another blockbuster movie it looks like. So yeah, nothing nothing revolutionary, just a bunch of short horror films. This one, I believe, I don't remember where I got this movie, but I love this movie. This is Demonic Toys. God, I wish I could remember where I got this. I want to say it was a, a creepy crate or a horror block back in the day, but this movie is really funny. Um, <laughs> I love this movie so much, so I keep that in there. Uh, next, we have a Rob Zombie favorite. This is The Devil's Rejects. Oh my god, this is probably Rob Zombie's best film. He hasn't really done a whole lot of better films after this movie. Like the newest one he came out with, what was it? What was it? Like the Dead 3 or something like that. It's I, I own it. It's down there more, but that one wasn't really that good. Uh, this one, though, Devil's Rejects really good movie. Next we have another Disney movie. This one is one of my favorites. This is of course Dinosaur. Uh, my dad took me and my sister to go see this in theaters when it came out and it's just it's one of my favorites. I love this movie so much. All right guys we're on the very last section for the top row. The first one is of course a classic. This is the Patrick Swayze movie Dirty Dancing. I love Dirty Dancing. I really like a lot of these old movies. So good. I grew up watching this movie. Um, next, we have a Shia LaBeouf movie. This is, of course, Disturbia. Love this movie. Really, really good. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this. I have another cult classic, which is Donnie Darko. And this has Jake and Maggie Gyllenhaal in it. I actually just watched this not maybe a couple weeks ago with my boyfriend and he really liked it. He has never seen Donnie Darko. So we had to rectify that situation and he really liked it. The next one we have is Don't Breathe. I love this movie so much. I have not seen the second one yet, but I really, really want to because that one also looks really good. But this one, oh, so good, so, so good. Like when I first saw it, I was obsessed with it. Uh, another one of my favorites. This is, of course, Mrs. Doubtfire. I told you guys, we have a bunch of different movies in my collection, okay? You're never gonna see the same thing twice. I have, it's not all just horror movies. We have everything. Uh, Robin Williams is Mrs. Doubtfire. Everyone knows this movie. Fantastic. Love it. Uh, we have another horror movie. This one is Drag Me to Hell. Love this movie. I find a lot of like really good cheap horror movies in flea markets because you can get them for like a really, really good deal. Next we have a, uh, what's her name? Kira Knightley movie. This is The Duchess. It's basically like a movie that takes place way, way back when. This is kind of like a drama story. I really like it. I looks like I got this from looks like I got this from movie gallery back in 2008 so I must have liked it enough to uh, buy it from them. Next we have another one of my dad's favorite movies. This is the movie Duel. It's basically I believe this is kind of like a oh Jesus oh my god oh my god ah! Duel. It's kind of an older movie, but I remember watching this with my dad. It's kind of like a car chase one, I believe, with like a really big Mack truck. Uh, next, of course, we have another classic. This is Edward Scissorhands, and as you can see, this one has been very well used because the paper and plastic has all fallen off, but everyone knows Edward Scissorhands. Such a classic. Next, we have a really, really good J-Lo movie. This is the movie Enough. Um, basically, it is about J-Lo. Um, she is in a very abusive marriage and she tries to escape, but he won't let her. So basically, she takes all this like badass training and kicks the living shit out of him 
Really good movie. Highly recommend this one. Uh, next, we have another one of my childhood favorites that I used to watch with my mom all the time, and that is Aaron Brockovich. I can't really describe what this movie is about. You kind of just have to watch it, but I, I love this movie. Not a kid's movie, not family friendly, but really good. I just, I watched a lot of fucked up shit when I was a kid. Next, of course, we have another classic in here. We have the movie E.T. Ugh, really good, funny, and scary all at the same time. Next, of course, we have a couple of the classics. We have the original Evil Dead movie, which is fantastic. And right next to it, we also have the Evil Dead remake, which is really, really good. Next, we have the one movie that I have a very, very hard time watching. Out of all of my horror movies, out of any horror movie I have ever seen, the one movie that has always given me nightmares, that has always creeped me out, that has always given me chills, that I always have a hard time watching, is The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Uh, this movie, for whatever reason, just scares the ever-living shit out of me. I have a very, very hard time watching it. Most of the time I can't finish it because it creeps me out so bad. But nonetheless, I keep it in my collection. And then right next to it, I have The Exorcist, which I actually watched last night. So this one's very fresh in my mind. And I do this with some of mine, but I also keep The Exorcist 2, uh, the Blu-ray. Even though this is like my DVD section, I do keep the Blu-ray right next to it. Um, I just, I don't know. I feel like movies and classics like this just need to be kept together. So I keep those right next to each other. And then I just have seasons one, two, and three of Family Guy. Family Guy is my all-time favorite TV show to ever exist. Love Family Guy. I watch it pretty much five nights out of the week. Um, I'm, I am watching Family Guy. Okay guys, so that was the whole entire first row of movies. Now we are going to jump down and go through the second row and then the third row and the fourth row and so on. So let's go ahead and keep this moving. It looks like we spent about 30 minutes on the top row. So let's try to speed it up a little bit more because I, I spent way more time talking about this row than I thought I was going to. So uh, Let's keep it moving. <laughs> Moving on down here, I have another volume three and four of Family Guy. And I also just saw that I have The Exorcist 3 right here as well, which that one should technically be right there. Um, like I said, I like to keep all my classics together, whether that be DVD or Blu-rays. Next, I have one of my favorite Tyler Perry movies. I watch this movie all the time, and this is The Family That Prays. I love this movie so much. Tyler Perry does great movies. A lot of them are funny, but this one is more on the serious side and it's like one of my favorites. Of course, we have to have Fargo in the collection. This was one of my dad's. My dad loved watching this movie. Uh, I have this one. This one's kind of weird for my collection because you wouldn't expect me to have something like this, but this is actually fireproof and this is a like, um, very inspirational Christian movie. Really good. Uh, my mom gave this to me and I actually don't mind this movie. It's really good. And next we have a couple of family movies. We have the, what's his name? Tim McGraw movie, Flicka. Love this movie. Uh, I also have Flipper. Gotta have Flipper. I love that movie. We have the Lin Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis, Freaky Friday. Fantastic movie. I also have, um, the first, second, fourth, and fifth season of Game of Thrones. I'm missing a few of them. I know it's weird, but I love Game of Thrones. Next, we have my Friday the 13th collection. This is the four movie collection right here. I have another Kathy Bates movie that I absolutely love. This is Fried Green Tomatoes. Another really good movie. Not everyone's cup of tea, but oh, such a good movie. I have another kind of horror movie thriller. This is Frozen, where they get stuck on a ski lift. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this movie. It's great. This one is kind of like According to Greta with Hilary Duff, but this one is with Lindsay Lohan. I really like this movie as well. This one is a little bit for older people than According to Greta, but you know, still really good. I have another Patrick Swayze classic. This is Ghost with Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze. Really good movie. I have a Clint Eastwood movie. This is Gran Torino. 
fantastic movie. My dad really liked this one as well. I have one of the best musicals ever, which is of course Grease. Oh, I actually just got this one. I found it at Walmart for like five bucks. I thought I already owned it, but I didn't. So I had to add this one. This is the newest addition to my collection. I have It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. I also just recently got this movie as well. This was in the $5 bin at Walmart. I also really like shark movies as well, you know, duh. This movie was okay. Um, it wasn't great, but it was okay, so it's in my collection now. Next, I have the first and the second Gremlins movies classics. Really, really like the Gremlins movies. If you don't, something is really wrong with you. We have the Grave Dancers. This is an After Dark Horror Fest movie. This movie is really creepy. If you've never seen this movie, highly recommend checking it out. Really good. I also have the first two Grudge movies. I have the first one and the second one. Uh, I also have the Rob Zombie Halloween movies. This one, I'm, I really like, I prefer the original Halloween over the Rob Zombie Halloween movies personally, uh, but I do own it for my collection. I also have the 2018, I believe, Halloween, really good movie. I have another action movie, which again, you wouldn't think I would have in my collection because I'm not really big on action, but I have the movie Hannah right here. That one's pretty good. I have A Haunting in Connecticut, also a really good movie. Uh, moving on is where I keep all of my Fifty Shades of Grey movies. I love the Fifty Shades of Grey, so I have the first one in Blu-ray. I have Fifty Shades Darker, and I also have um, Fifty Shades Freed, so I keep those there. Next, I have the Final Destination collection, which I believe has all three of them, the first, second, and the third one. The third Final Destination movie is my favorite. Next, we have another really funny comedy. This is The Heat with Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCartney. I love this movie. It is so damn funny. Uh, this next one I actually just watched recently as well. This is a Richard Dreyfuss movie. This is Mr. Holland's Opus. Um, it basically talks about a high school band teacher, his story. This movie, uh, I actually watched this when I was in band back when I was in eighth grade. It was like our last day of band and my teacher just wanted us to watch a really inspirational story. So he put this movie in and I loved it. I loved it so much that when I became an adult and I saw it in stores, I bought it. I love Mr. Holland's Opus. It's a really good feel good movie. It made me cry. It makes me cry every time I watch it. So I gotta have that in there. I also have the very first Hellraiser, obviously. Gotta have that in there. Also another one of my favorites. Uh, more comedies. I have the Horrible Bosses movies. I think these are hysterical. It's the first and the second one. I have the other Rob Zombie film. This is House of a Thousand Corpses. This is the one before Devil's Rejects came out. Uh, another really popular, really good Rob Zombie film. I have another older comedy. This is Rob Schneider, The Hot Chick. A really funny movie. I'm sure some of you guys have seen this before, but yeah, really good. Cracks me up every time. This one is actually one of my mom's favorite movies. Uh, this was made in... Gosh, I don't even see a date on here, but this was one of my mom's favorite movies and she gave it to me and I kept it because it reminds me of her. Uh, it's just about a figure skater. Uh, this one is a really old Lindsay Lohan movie. This is I Know Who Killed Me. Kind of a stupid movie. I haven't seen this in years, but I keep it because it's just, it's part of my collection. Next, I have my It movies. So I have the original Stephen King It, and then I have both of the remakes right here. So I have the remake of It, and then I also have It Chapter 2 as well. And this one is a Blu-ray, but I keep them together because they are classics. So they always stay together. The next one I have on he in here is another really interesting, really good horror movie. This one is called It Follows. I really like this movie. It's very unique and it's literally like something I've never seen before. It's, it's a fantastic movie. Kind of weird, but really good. I have another drama in here. This one I love. It's with Kate Winslet and Josh Brolin. This one is called Labor Day. Just a really um, like drama, love story. 
it's really good. Love that. I also have my Jaws movies in here, which I just watched recently. So I have the original Jaws, and then I also have the Jaws 3 movie collection. And this one has Jaws 2, 3, and Jaws Revenge. So keep those in there. I do own a Jeepers Creepers movie. The first one, I believe. I've only seen this a couple times. I'm honestly not like a huge Jeepers Creepers movie fan. Uh, next, I have, of course, Jumanji, the one with uh, Robin Williams, because the remakes, they suck. Always go with the original. All right, moving on to the final section in the second row. Uh, the first one we have in here is Juno. This was a really popular movie, maybe about 15, 10, 15 years ago. Really funny movie, really good. Kind of like artsy fartsy, but I really enjoy this movie. Next, of course, we have a classic, Josie and the Pussycats. Uh, I remember being so obsessed with this movie when I was younger. I literally wanted to change my name to Josie, and I wanted to be her. I This movie is very, very weird. This was made in 2001. And I loved this movie when I was a kid, and I still do now. Next, we have another funny comedy. This is Knocked Up with Seth Rogen and Katherine Heigl and Paul Paul Rudd. Is that his name? I think that Paul Rudd, yeah. Um, so I have Knocked Up, really funny movie. I also have another classic. This one kind of goes along the same lines as Babe, but this is the Lassie movie. Loved this movie when I was a kid. Such a good movie. Oh my gosh. It just brings back all of the all of the nostalgia feels. So gotta have Lassie in the collection. Uh, let's see. Oh, I also have the Legally Blonde collection. I believe this is the first one. Okay, no. So it's one disc, but it has both the first and the second Legally Blonde movies. We love Reese Witherspoon in this house. Uh, another horror movie, I have this one, which is Let Me In. And I have an Evan Rachel Wood movie right here that I really like. This is The Life Before Her Eyes. I love this movie. It's like her life, drama, school shooting, you know, suffering with the traumas from that. Really good movie. This one is one of my personal favorites. One of my guilty pleasures is I love the movie Life of Pi. Really, really good movie. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but this movie won a few awards, I believe. And this is like one of my favorites. I love this. Um, I also have the Lost Boys collection, all three movies right here. The first one is obviously the best, but I do have all three of those. I have another <laughs> kids movie. This is Madagascar. I love Madagascar so much. All right, it's getting harder to focus because it just keeps getting darker outside because I think we have a storm coming in. So I am so sorry if this is like such shit content. I am, I am so sorry. But yeah, gotta have Madagascar. This movie is funnier than hell. Uh, moving on, we have like three of my prized possessions. I have an entire Marilyn Monroe box set with every single movie she has ever done. Like, look at this. We have just little magazine looking discs for days. And we have everything here. We have, let's see, All About Eve, As Young As You Feel, Let's Make It Legal, Love Nest, Don't Bother to Knock, Monkey Business, Henry's Full House, We're Not Married, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, How to Marry a Millionaire, There's No Business Like Show Business, The Seven Year Itch, Let's Make Love, Some Like It Hot, Bus Stop, The Misfits, which I believe The Misfits was one of the last movies she ever filmed before she passed away. The next one is a Marilyn Monroe documentary, I believe. This one was really good. My dad got this for me. So it's just a really nice little documentary about her life. This one was actually a Lifetime special and I loved it so much that I bought it. This is The Secret Life of Marilyn Monroe. It was a Lifetime special. They were doing like a three night event. And I remember going over to my dad's house when this premiered and watching it with him and we both really, really liked it. This actress, um, Kelly Garner, I believe, she does a really nice job playing Marilyn Monroe. That's my Marilyn Monroe collection right there. I do have another one down lower, but we'll get to that. Next, we have one of the saddest movies of all time. Marley and Me, if you know, you know, really, really sad movie. <laughs> um, it's a good movie, but the ending makes me ball like no tomorrow. Like, 
I need a box of tissues when I watch this movie. Next, I have another Jim Carrey movie. This is The Mask with um, Cameron Diaz. Really funny movie. Again, this one I grew up watching a lot. Uh, this next box set is actually my boyfriend's, but this is The Matrix Collection. I'm not a Matrix fan, so this is definitely his. He just keeps it here, so I just put that there. And then the very last movie for this row before we move on to the third row is of course Mean Girls. I love Mean Girls so much. I actually went and saw this with one of my friends that I went to school with and her mom. And I think her mom halfway through the movie realized that she made such a big mistake because we were pretty young. I want to say we were in like um, like fifth grade or something when this movie came out or something. Like not really a kid's movie but yeah, really good movie and I own it. On Wednesdays, we wear pink, bitch. Okay guys, so we are on the third row of my DVD movie collection. Uh, so we're about halfway done, just, you know, bear with me here. And the lighting should be getting better as we're moving down because we're not in like the direct hit of the light that I'm using. So the lighting should be a little better, but let's go ahead and jump right into this third row. So the first one is Memento. Uh, this is a Guy Pierce movie, really good, kind of a really complicated story. This is one of those movies where you really have to pay attention when you're watching it. Uh, this was another one of my childhood favorites that I used to watch all the time. This is Memoirs of a Geisha. Love this movie so much, really good. Um, kind of hard to explain, but it's really good. I also have Monster with Charlize Theron. This is the movie of the serial killer Eileen Wuornos. One thing is I do own quite a bit of movies with SA scenes in them and every time I do decide to watch these movies I always 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 skip the SA scene. I never watch those. Those kind of scenes make me uncomfortable but I absolutely love the movie Monster so I do have it. I have another th major throwback. This is Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, New York Minute. Loved that movie. When I was in about fifth grade, I watched this movie all the freaking time. Uh, I also have Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. I have the Nightmare on Elm Street box set. This is the eight film collection here. Uh, next, I have my favorite version of Night of the Living Dead. So really fun fact, this movie was never copyrighted when the original came out. So this movie is very much free game. And out of all the ones that have been remade, this one is my favorite version of that. Also have a Night of Horror 15 film box set with just a bunch of like short stories in here. Uh, I don't watch these very often, but they're in my collection. Next, I have another kind of boomer movie love story. This is Knights in Rodanthe with Richard Gere and Diane Lane. I love this movie so much. It's just like a really cute love story. Uh, of course, I am the basic bitch who owns The Notebook. Love this movie. Makes me cry every time. Next, I have three really good thrillers that I love. I have The Beyonce Obsessed. I have No Good Deed and The Perfect Guy. Really good thriller movies, and these are all so fantastic. So when I saw they all came in like a three, three in one, I had to have it. I love all of these movies. Another one of my favorite horror movies is Oculus. If you guys have ever seen this, kind of complicated, but really good and really creepy. Uh, I also have, I believe this is the original. I have the original Omen. Uh, this is that one hour photo I was telling you guys about with Robin Williams, where kind of like the Amityville horror with Ryan Reynolds, I love seeing Typically actors who do comedies, I love seeing them do more serious films and this is a really good example of that. Robin Williams plays this like photo guy, really creepy. It's, oh, it's, it's a really good movie. Really, really good movie. He did excellent in that. Uh, next we have Orphan. I'm sure many of you guys have seen this movie. This movie is creepy as all hell. Uh, I have another oldie but a goodie. This is The Out of Towners with Jack Lemmon. He is so damn funny. Uh, I used to watch this with my dad a lot. I have another one of my favorites here. This is with Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. This is the movie Overboard. Oh, such a classic, such a classic. I have the Panic Room special edition movie. I think this is with uh, her, what's her face, Jodie Foster? 
I could be wrong, I don't know. And Kristen Stewart, Panic Room, excellent movie. Moving on, we have my three favorite paranormal activities. We have the first, the second, and the third one. We have another Johnny Depp movie, Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. This one and the fifth one are my all-time favorites. I have the fifth one in here somewhere. Uh, we'll eventually get to it. I also have the original Stephen King Pet Cemetery movie. This one is insanely creepy. I also have the first and the original Poltergeist. I also have the remake of this one, but I'm pretty sure that is in with my Blu-rays. This movie I was obsessed with in the summer of 2009. I rented this movie and I loved it so much that I want I bought it from them. And this is Pray for Rock and Roll. And what drew me to this movie, first off, was the cover art because back back in those days I, you know, wanted to be a rock star and anything to do with like badass style or rock music. Um, I was obsessed with and when I saw this movie I literally became obsessed with it and I watched it over and over again and it's still like one of my favorite movies. It looks like I got this one from Hollywood Video. Um, <laughs> so next we have another classic. We have Richard Gere and Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. Gotta have that one. Uh, I also have the very first Purge movie. I do not like any of the other Purge movies. I only like the first one. Um, I have another feel-good movie. This is with Will Smith and his son. This is The Pursuit of Happiness. Really good. Uh, this one. Oh my god. Revolutionary Road. If any of you guys have ever seen this movie, whoa. Okay, just fucking whoa. It's with Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, the two who also played in Titanic, so I thought that was kind of cool. I really like this movie, even though it makes me insanely sad. Um, it's still really good and one of my favorites. I watched this one quite a bit. I don't know why I like being depressed so much. Next, we have two of my favorites. We have The Ring and The Ring 2. Oh my gosh, these are the best ones. The, what was it? The third one that came out? Oh my god, it's so awful. I hated it so much. It was terrible. This one is a Mark Wahlberg collection and I only got this for one movie in particular. Can you guys guess which one I got this for? That one. I love the Mark Wahlberg movie Rockstar. Seriously, one of my favorites. So I literally bought this whole box set just to have Rockstar. Uh, this next one is with James Stewart. This is Rope. This was one of my dad's. I have no idea what it's about. It's a Alfred Hitchcock movie. I've never seen it. I just kept it because it was one of my dad's. Next, I have The Runaways, which basically talks about uh, the band The Runaways. Really good movie with Kristen Stewart and Dakota Fanning. Really, really good movie. Uh, I have another comedy here. This is with Robin Williams and um, what's her face? Jojo? I think Jojo. Um, and this is RV, if you guys have ever seen this. Oh my God, it's so fucking funny. Uh, we have another war movie. This is Saving Private Ryan. Really good. This was also one of my dad's, so it's, of course, the really nice collector's edition one. Um, another one of my favorite comedies is the Jack Black movie, School of Rock. <laughs> I love this movie so much. It's hysterical. Okay, moving on to this section right here. The first one we have is Scream. I'm pretty sure this is the first. Um, oh, this is Scream 4. Uh, for some reason, I have the fourth one and not the first one. Uh, fun fact about me is I'm actually not a huge fan of the Scream franchise. Never really have been, but I have the fourth one for some reason. I also have the awesome... Ooh, oh my goodness. I also have Selena with uh, Jennifer Lopez. I love this movie. Everyone has seen this movie, okay? It's fantastic. Love it. Um, really sad story, but it's great. I also have another Will Smith movie. This is Seven Pounds. Really sad movie, but really, really good. I have another shark movie. This is one of my favorites. This is The Shallows with Blake Lively. Love this movie so much. It's so creepy, so thrilling, really good. Another one of my favorites is, of course, The Shining with Jack Nicholson. Oh my god, yes, I watched this one last night as well. I have a John Wayne movie. This was my dad's. My dad was a huge John Wayne fan. Uh, this is The Shootist, but that one's really good. I have Shrek 2. I don't have the first one, but I do have the second one for some reason. 
I have another really good classic. This is Silence of the Lambs. Love this movie. Uh, Jodie Foster, yes, that's her name. That's uh, in Panic Room as well. And Anthony Hopkins, oh my God. Silence of the Lambs, hell yeah. I also have Silent Hill as well. Don't really like this movie as much, but when I first got this, I watched it all the time. Next, I have the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth season of The Simple Life with Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. I love The Simple Life series. It was great. Right next to it, I have my Tales from the Crypt big box set. I love Tales from the Crypt. I think this was like 80 bucks or something, but I have every single season and it's a very, very thick, hefty box set. And I just keep that big guy right here. Um, the fourth and fifth season of The Simple Life I have in the next section over here, but I wanted to like, I don't know. I it's, So these are kind of out of order alphabetically, but you, you get the gist. Like I said, here's the fourth and fifth season of The Simple Life. I just keep them right here. I also have this Frank Sinatra, the classic duets movie. This was one of my dad's. My dad was a huge Frank Sinatra fan. Uh, we listen to his music all the time. I also have a Sleeping Beauty Disney movie couple Disney movies in here. Uh, this is another SA uh, movie, but it's with Kristen Stewart. It is the movie Speak. I don't watch this very much just because of the SA stuff, but it's still a really good movie. I also have Stephen King's The Stand on that movie here. This one, oh my god, it's so good. It makes me cry. A Star is Born with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. Oh, such a good movie. Oh, I watched this recently and I bawled my eyes out. I also have Straight Outta Compton. This talks about all about the story with um, uh, NWA way back in the day, like the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s. Fantastic movie. Love this. I watched this one recently as well. I have The Strangers, the first one. I also have the second one, but I believe that's in my Blu-rays. I love The Strangers so much. Uh, another kids movie, I have the first and the second Stuart Little movies. I love these so much. Again, it's that childhood nostalgia thing. I have next to that one, I have my favorite movie of all time, which is of course Sucker Punch. I have the Sucker Punch quote tattooed on my arm here, so that just shows you how much I love this movie. Uh, let's see, I also have of course Titanic. You can't have a movie collection without Titanic in it. We have one of my favorite movies from when I was a teenager, of course, 13. Everyone has seen this movie. Everyone loves this movie. We also have the amazing 13 going on 30. We also have my, one of my favorite Liam Neeson movies. This is the movie Taken. Liam Neeson, fun fact, is one of my favorite actors and I actually find him to be very, very attractive. Um, I am very much attracted to older men than I am men my own age. Uh, fun little fact. <laughs> this one, uh, The Tenth Circle, this was a Lifetime movie and I really liked it, so I bought it. I have not seen this in probably over a decade, so I don't really remember what it's about. I don't know, but I remember really liking this movie. Uh, this one is another one of my boyfriends. This is the newest Tomb Raider movie. I actually watched this with him recently, and it wasn't bad, but not really my cup of tea. So this is one of his that we keep here. Uh, next, we have a kind of a random one. This is with Gene Simmons and Ozzy Osbourne. This is tr Trick or Treat. I don't know why I own this, but um, it's, uh, it's in there. It's in my collection. Next, we have another one of my favorite John Wayne movies. This is True Grit. Probably one of my favorite movies. One of my favorite John Wayne movies next to McClintock. I really like True Grit. Big Jake is also really good too. And then of course, I have Tenacious D. Cannot have a movie collection without Tenacious D, am I right? This is Tenacious D in The Pick of Destiny, Jack Black and Kyle Gass. It, 
it's really funny. All right, guys, we made it. We are on the very last full row, and then we just have one more little section like this directly below, and then we will finally be through my full and entire movie collection. We're getting very close to my Blu-ray collection. Everything we have seen so far has been mostly DVDs, and the rest of it will be all Blu-rays. So let's finish up these DVDs here. The first one in this row is 28 Weeks Later. This is the virus movie, really good. I haven't seen this a whole lot, but I do remember really liking it, so I bought it and added it to my movie collection. Next, we have another classic from my childhood. This is the movie Twister. Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton, that's who's in this movie. Uh, really like Twister, really good creepy movie. Next, I have every single one of the Twilight movies. So I have Twilight, New Moon, Twilight Eclipse, uh, Breaking Dawn Part 1, and Breaking Dawn Part 2. Really liked the Twilight movies, still like them, even though they're so cheesy and stupid nowadays. I still really enjoy them. Next, we have a movie with Joaquin Phoenix and Reese Witherspoon. This is Walk the Line. This is all about the story of Johnny Cash fantastic movie. I watched this one within the last month or so. Again, cried my eyes out. I love this movie so much. Any movies that are about like bands, singers, um, like The Runaways, this one, A Star is Born. I love movies like that. So, and Walk the Line is definitely one of my favorites. I have another it's really tight here. I should probably move one of these. There we go. That's better. Uh, the next one right next to Walk the Line, I have another Reese Witherspoon movie. This one is with Reese Witherspoon and Robert Pattinson and Christoph Waltz. And this is Water for Elephants, a really, really cool and awesome love story about a guy who is going to school to be a vet and his parents die. So he runs off with the circus and he meets Reese Witherspoon. And it's just a really good, cute love story. I really like this one. This one is kind of another boomer movie. This is The Wedding Date. I love this movie. Um, my mom really likes this movie and it always makes me think of her. So I have that in my collection. I have The Wolf of Wall Street with Leonardo DiCaprio. Fantastic movie. Uh, talks all about the life and the story of Jordan Belfort. It's, it's fantastic. And the fact that he did not win an Oscar for this movie just makes me sick because he did so well in this. Um, I have another one of my favorites in here. This is a Mickey Rourke movie, and this is The Wrestler. Back in like 2009, 2010, this was literally one of my favorite movies. This has Evan Rachel Wood and uh, Marissa Tomei and Mickey Rourke. Really good movie. Also, I think one of my neighbors is running their sink or their shower or something. So if you can hear like a humming in the background, I am so sorry. I tried to do this at a time where everyone was gone, but apparently someone came home and decided to run every faucet in their house. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, this one is a Mel Gibson movie with Helen Hunt. This is What Women Want. I love this movie. Uh, not a kid's movie, but a really funny, lighthearted love story, adult story. This one was also a Lifetime movie back in the day, and I loved it. Uh, this is White Oleander. I don't really know how to describe this movie to you guys. It's kind of complicated, but basically it's about a girl and her mom gets arrested and she goes into the system and she is basically trying to find herself, etc., etc. Really good movie. I also have the Ellen Page, now Elliot Page, the movie Whip It. I love this. It's all about, ro um, what's it called? Roller Derby. Next is another one of my favorites. This is When a Stranger Calls. This is the remake. I believe this was 2006. Yes, 2006 version of this movie. Creepy and still, I've seen this movie at least 20 times and I still get goosebumps every time they say we trace the call, it's coming from inside the house. Oh, I literally just got goosebumps, like just now on my arm. So that <laughs> that line always gives me goosebumps. So I love this movie. Uh, this one was another one of my dad's and it's actually a fantastic movie. This is Weekend at Bernie's. And one thing about this movie is when this movie first came out, everyone always started calling my dad Bernie because if you see, Literally, my dad looked just like Bernie. This one just makes me think of my dad. And this movie is just funnier than hell. Another hysterical movie that I absolutely love is We're the Millers. 
with um, Jennifer Aniston and Jason Sudeikis. I think that's how you say his name. This movie is so funny. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this, but oh my god, it's so funny. Next one is, I believe, another one of my boyfriend's movies. This is the Underworld Blood Wars movie with Kate Beckinsale. She is one hot lady, okay? Like, She's hot, so I secretly think that's why he loves these movies, is so he can see her, but, you know, I digress. And of course, the last DVD in my DVD portion of this is Zack and Miri Make a Porno with Seth Rogen and Elizabeth Banks. Hilarious movie. If you know, you know. Alrighty, guys, so we finally made it to the Blu-ray portion of my movie collection, the very first one. Now, a lot of these are horror pack movies, so a lot of these may seem familiar to you if you guys watch my horror pack unboxings and review videos. Uh, this first one is Agoraphobia, one of the horror pack limited editions that I kept. Uh, this one is an alien versus Predator movie. Again, another one of my boyfriends. Next up, I have American Mary, which is also a horror pack. I have Atoning, another horror pack one. The Autopsy of Jane Doe, really, really good movie. Baskin, this movie I got in a horror pack and this has become one of my favorite movies. Really good, fucked up, but really good. I have the Belko Experiment. I have another copy of the original The Birds movie, Alfred Hitchcock film. This one was a childhood favorite of mine and this was Black Beauty. When I was a kid, I loved this movie so much, so I had to have it. Um, I also have The Barn. Oh yeah, this is another horror pack limited edition, kind of like a Halloween themed movie. I have Blood Sucking Bastards, which is like a horror comedy. I have the movie Blood Fest. I have, of course, The Breakfast Club. A couple of these I still need to get rid of, like Cannibal Holocaust. Uh, this is a movie I will not watch, but I own it anyway. I got that in a horror pack. I have Case 39 with Renee Zellweger. Crazy to Crazy, which is a horror pack limited edition that I really liked. Uh, here is the original Carrie that I was talking about as well. I have the uh, Chernobyl Diaries in here. I have another copy of Child's Play that I also got in a horror pack in the Blu-ray version. I have Chillerama that I got in a horror pack, which was really funny. There's a couple in here that I really enjoyed. Uh, this one, another really good drama. Uh, not This isn't a horror pack movie, but this is the Dallas Buyers Club. I love this movie. It is fantastic. It is all about the story of, it's about a guy who gets HIV, turns into AIDS, just talks about his story. I have The Darkness as well, another good movie. Um, let's see, I have Dawn of the Dead, really like this one, one of my favorites. Uh, this one I have not watched and I need to get rid of it, but this is Demented. I hear there's a pretty brutal rape scene in this, so this is one movie that I own, but I will not watch. Alrighty, moving on, we have another one of my favorite horror pack movies that I've ever seen. This is Don't Fuck in the Woods. I have The Devil's Do. I also have The Devil Inside. A uh, really good movie. I also have the classic The Devil Wears Prada with Anne Hathaway and Meryl Streep. Such a classic. This one, Don't Knock Twice. A great majority of these are horror pack movies in case you couldn't tell. I have the Dracula 3D movie. I also have Bram Stoker's Dracula as well. This is another one of my favorite movies that I have ever gotten in a horror pack. I have the Flatliners remake, which was also really good and really creepy. I have the movie The Fly. This is the remake with, what is, it? Jeff Goldblum. Really good, creepy fucking movie. Another shark movie, we have 47 Meters Down. We have The Gallows, which is another really good horror pack movie that I got. I have The Forest which is good. I also have the Jack Black Goosebumps movie that I really enjoy, not a horror pack. Um, I have another war movie that I love. This is Hacksaw Ridge. If you guys have never seen this movie, you need to watch it because it's fantastic. 
I have this one that I really like. This is Hangman. I got this in a horror pack and I've seen this movie quite a few times. It's really, really good. Uh, next to it, I have my original Halloween box set that I absolutely love. It has the original Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, 4, 5, Halloween Curse of Michael Myers, Halloween H2O, Halloween Resurrection, the 2007 Rob Zombie Halloween, and the Halloween 2 2009 Rob Zombie version in here as well. So a lot of my horror movies I have duplicates of, especially Halloween, because they are in fact my favorites. Uh, right next to that I have the new Halloween Kills movie. Really liked it. I waited a really long time before I watched this, but it was really good. So I got that on Blu-ray. I also, of course, have Hocus Pocus because everyone and their mother needs to own this movie. I also have a double feature of Hostel, Hostel Part 1 and Hostel Part 2. I have, let's see, The House's October Belt, which is a really good movie. I have another one of my favorite Will Smith movies. This is I Am Legend. And I also have Insidious, the very first Insidious, which in my opinion is the best one next to the third one. The third Insidious is also really good. All right, guys, we are almost done. We just have this section and one more section like this to go through, and we finally did it. So let's keep on trucking along here. Uh, next to Insidious, I have Insidious Chapter 3, which I just told you guys is another one of my all-time favorite movies. I also have the original and the remake of The Invisible Man. So this is the original one from, I believe, the 30s or 40s. And then I have the remake, which I really, really like the remake in this one. So I own both of those. I have another horror pack movie. The Horror Pack Limited Edition, this is Jack Frost. I really enjoyed this movie. Another great movie is The Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, so, so good. It was so excellent. After the first time I saw it, I bought it because it was just that good. I also have this movie, which is also really good. This is Joyride. I think this is like, it's very similar to Duel, I think, that I showed you guys earlier. Um, kind of along the same lines as that one. I also have Krampus. Really enjoy this movie, or especially around the holidays. I have this one, which I just recently got in a horror pack. This is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I also have Land of the Dead, it looks like. I didn't even realize I had this one. I think this one I got in a horror pack, I'm pretty sure. I also have The Last Exorcism Part 2. I don't have the first part yet. Hopefully that will either come in a horror pack or I'll just have to buy it. This one is another one of my favorite movies. This is The Lazarus Effect. Such a creepy movie. This one is Life. I got this in a horror pack. This one was okay, so I decided to keep it. I also have the movie Lights Out. This one. Okay, so I got this in a horror pack. This is Lords of Chaos. I didn't really know what to expect the first time I saw this, and after I watched it, I became obsessed with this movie. This is basically all about like a black metal band, and it's really kind of disturbing and fucked up, but one of my favorite movies that I've ever gotten in a horror pack. Uh, here's another Marilyn movie. This is My Week with Marilyn, and what's her name? Michelle Williams, I believe. Um, she also does a really good job at playing Marilyn. I have another comedy. This one is definitely not for children. It's very much for adults, but it's the Jim Carrey, me, myself, and Irene. Um, if you've ever seen it, you know. I also have the Stephen King's Misery movie with Kathy Bates. Excellent movie. I also have Mother Krampus as well to go along with my first Krampus movie. I have the movie Ouija, which I also got in a horror pack. That one is okay. I think I actually went and saw that one in theaters. Uh, next, I have Patient Zero, which is all about, you know, your typical virus movie, kind of like 28 Weeks Later or whatever. This is the fifth Pirates of the Caribbean movie, the one that I told you guys about. This is probably, next to The Black Pearl, this is probably one of my all-time favorite Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Um, next to that, I also have the Poltergeist remake, which I also really like and enjoy. And this one is the Poltergeist Diaries. Yes, this is a Horror Pack Limited Edition movie, and I really liked this one, so I kept that one. 
And then the last one in this section is a double feature with the movie Priest and Legion. I personally like the movie Legion more than Priest, so I kept it for this movie right here. Okay guys, and this is the final little section of Blu-rays that I have, and then this will complete my full movie collection. So really quickly, we have quite a few horror packs in here. We have Psycho Gorman, which is one that I got recently. I really enjoyed this movie. It was really funny and entertaining. Uh, another shark movie I have, I have The Reef right here, which is kind of like a found footage, uh, true story kind of movie. This one, okay, if you are a cult classic movie junkie, then you know what this movie is. If you do not know what this movie is, I need you to stop and look it up right now. This is one of the worst movies ever made in film history. And I'm not just saying that. This is literally a horrible movie. But it's so bad, it's good, and it's so bad that it has earned its name in a cult classic favorite. Um, not a lot of people know about this movie, but I, me, my sister, and a few people in my family love this movie and we all own this movie it is so bad that it's good i'm not going to say anything more if you know you know if you don't know um maybe give it a try but if you know the room with tommy wasau then you know next we have another one of my favorites this is the right with anthony hopkins really creepy fucked up movie uh this is rob zombie's most recent film this is the one i was talking about earlier three from hell that's what it's called this one i was excited for but i was actually really disappointed in this movie it wasn't as good as i wanted it to be he is doing a monsters movie hopefully when that comes out that'll be a little bit better uh, next, we have Scenic Route. Again, not everyone's favorite kind of movie, but I personally really enjoyed this movie, so I bought it. I have a Scream Queen double feature, which has The Fog and The Howling in it. Two really good classic movies there. Uh, I also have another shark movie. This is Shark Lake. Not too bad. I haven't seen it in a while. Next, we have another one of my favorite movies of all time. This is Showgirls. Uh, very X-rated, not for kids, very much an adult movie. Another one of my favorite Julie Roberts movies is Sleeping with the Enemy. Really good thriller right there. Uh, one of my favorites, The Slumber Party Massacre. I love this movie a lot. Uh, this was made in 1982, so kind of like your classic slasher film, if you will. Uh, this movie was actually one of the first horror packs I ever got. Uh, this is the movie Species. I didn't really know what to think of it. Okay, I'm sorry if you can hear that, but my furnace right behind me is making like a humming noise. I think it's like heating up the water or something again. I don't know. Uh, I didn't hate this movie. I actually really liked it. So I decided to keep it and this kind of kicked off my whole horror pack journey. Uh, next, I have the second Strangers movie. I have the first one on DVD and the second one on Blu-ray. Uh, this was another really good horror pack that I got. This is the movie Unsane, and I'm pretty sure this whole movie was filmed on an iPhone. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's this movie. Uh, I also have the movie The Visit. Super creepy movie. If you guys have never seen this, you need to watch it. This movie creeped me out so freaking much. I also have the Brad Pitt movie, World War Z. Not one of my favorites, but the box is kind of cool, so uh, I kept this one in my collection. The second to last one is Would You Rather. This is with Brittany Snow. Really good, creepy movie, and it always, like, freaks me out, because, like, what if you were in this situation? Like, <gasps> oh my god, such a creepy movie. And then the very last movie for my entire movie collection is the movie Z. I saw this movie for the first time. I believe it was on Shudder, I'm pretty sure. And when I got it in a horror pack, I was really excited because this movie was so freaking creepy. So I'm really, really glad that I own this one. This movie is just, oh, it is so freaking terrifying. Really good. Definitely check this one out if you have never seen it. 
The one movie that I wish I had in my collection that I don't is The Babadook. Now, so many people, when that movie came out on Netflix, so many people hated it and they ragged on it. But me personally, I love that movie and I would love to have it in my collection, but I don't yet. But mark my words, that's going to be one of the next movies that I try to find and buy. Or hopefully I get it in a horror pack because I personally really liked that movie. Okay guys, and that was my full and entire movie collection video. Oh my gosh, I know this video was like insanely long. It's probably like an hour at this point, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for going through all of my movies with me. I didn't realize personally how cool my movie collection was until I went through each one with you guys, so. I really like my movie collection. I'm really happy with it. There are still a few that I would like to add to my collection that I don't have yet, but um, yeah, that was everything that I have in my collection so far. So let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Did you like it? Did you find it entertaining? Did you have mo did I have movies in here that shocked you? Um, were you surprised that I didn't have certain movies? Let me know all of your thoughts and stuff down below. I would love to hear it. If you guys did enjoy my full entire movie collection video, make sure you go down and give it a huge thumbs up. Sound off in the comments with all of your thoughts and opinions. I would love to hear them. If you are new here and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button. I do upload every three to four days here. But as the rest of you. I love you guys so, so much. I'm going to go watch a bunch of movies now and I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.